Greetings, everyone. I'm Tommy. And I'm Midge. And we are at the last stop of our book tour, Hidden Town Terrors. And it is our highest rated chapter of the series because it was hidden behind a massacre that took place just states over. Tonight, we will discuss the Halloween Y2K murders. After a break into the facility, a convent on death row, Brian Prescott escapes. Yes, broke into where Michael Myers claimed the life of his sister, Lori Strode. And while the world was distracted by that case, Brian came all the way back to his hometown to get his very own Lori, Lori Norwood. Brian had come home that night of Halloween, leaving the town of Edenfield, Illinois in fear. Fearing whatever evil Brian had unleashed that night into the town would have come back. It became a town law to never celebrate Halloween. And the family of Brian Prescott moved away, never to be seen again. And just three hours ago, Brian stepped on the bus, heading to his death sentence. But where was Brian going? Or who was he going after? And what happened to Brian that night? We will discuss in tonight's story the Halloween Y2K murders. Security! Security! We need backup! <laughs> Ma'am, come down. What's going on? Ma'am? Ma'am? <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, my... Security! Oh, oh, oh. I've waited for this moment, Michael. <laughs> See you in hell, Michael. Sorry that took forever, Tootie, but we got the lantern for the party. Like so fetch. Now, I just need to get ready to impress Ben Tramer. So fetch. We're totally getting our treats tonight. Oh, so fetch. Hmm? Oh, hey, Mrs. Norwood. Oh, hello, Skipper. Hello, Tootie. Well, happy Halloween, Miss Norwood. Bye. Uh, she's just as weird as her daughter. So not. <gasps> Tootie girl, let's go. Thank you so much for shopping and you have a happy Halloween. Goodbye. <sighs> uh, girl, at this point, you should just buy the dress. It's cute. Barbie. You know I'm only working here just to cover tuition. I barely have enough money to buy panties, <laughs> let alone a costume. Mm, come on, Lori. You're like the perfect black Cinderella to put in these streets. Teresa, back me up. How about you don't and just say you did? Besides, y'all know how my mom is about Halloween. Well, you know I don't like to side with Barbie mm -hmm, or anything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, excuse me? Love you, mean it. But, Lori, you can't keep letting your mother's past traumas affect you. That's the reason I'm sort of siding <sighs> with Barbie, you know? See, this how I can tell you don't respect your mm -hmm. elders. Ooh. Oh, 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 okay. Come through, shimmies. <laughs> hmm. Oh, ladies. Ah. And Lori, just a girl. Oh, excuse me, pumpkin. Just a girl I wanted to see. Okay, so with the question I'm about to ask, the only acceptable answer is yes. No. 
Oh, look at me. I'm Lori Norwood. I'm so funny. <laughs> but seriously, do you want to go to a party tonight? And no. they're oh, Well, if someone didn't rudely interrupt me, they would know that attending said party is Ben Tramer. And I'm now listening. Exactly. So, before I was so rudely interrupted, there's a Halloween party tonight. Exclusive, thrown by Ken and Brad. And you're invited and I don't want to hear no. Hmm, what's the catch? No catch whatsoever. Barbie already got her invite and Teresa, she's boring. So of course she's not going. I take offense. So, what'd you say? No, no I can't. Mom gets extra cleanly during Halloween anyways. Come on, Lori. If not for me, for a long time, we've been Tramer. A long time. You, Ben Tramer. Well done. I don't have a costume. Um, Cinderella. Well, I guess I do have extra savings. <laughs> Yes, we are going to the scare house and we're going to look flawless doing it as princesses. Yeah, sure, sweetie. Anyways, I'll snail mail the location. Meet me there 8 p.m. sharp. Actually, be 15 minutes late. Okay, ladies. Au revoir. Toos. Hello, Dr. Craven. This is Dr. Hicks at Eden Film Memorial. I was calling because after reviewing the list of both casualties and inmates, it shows that um, patient Brian Prescott is unaccounted for and you're on his first list of calls. You just released evil. Hey, Stacy. How about this mask? Roger. We are racing couples, not a monster or zombie racing couple. Please put on your helmet so we can go, because we are late. <sighs> oh, yeah. Mommy. Huh? You okay? Oh. I'm, I'm, hold on, I'm coming. PJ, what's going on? PJ, it's them darn Jordan kids again. One moment. All right, Jordan kids, y'all got five seconds to come out. Five. Four. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh. at the cute couple. Yeah, mm -hmm. so fetch. Well, off to the scare house and then Tramer. Oh, she gonna make me catch a case. Oh, evening, Dr. Craven. Sorry to barge in so unexpected. And it's good to see you in great health. Is Lori with you by any chance? She's staying with her sorority sisters tonight. Is everything okay, doctor? There was an outbreak at the facility, and Brian escaped. Oh. I would feel so much better oh, no. No. knowing that you and Lori are in my protection until he is captured. Well, come in, doctor. I'll get her over here right now. Oh. Babe, we gotta go back for my hat. And why? Because the outfit needs the hat. Now, I wasn't complaining when it took you about two hours just uh, for us uh, to... Uh, blah, blah, let's go back then. Let's go back. Babe, hurry up. <gasps> um, babe, hurry up, please. Ah, uh, sorry, babe. Couldn't see the hole because of the freaking mask. Uh, oh, you ugly, bro. Let's go, babe.
No, they didn't bring it back for the sequel. But 1010, I definitely would recommend to watch. I disagree. Every horror film is just so simple. Like, the one we're watching now. The bimbo is about to get killed. She's like an expendable friend. Why do we have to know the friend is expendable? You get me? No character growth whatsoever. Hi, hey, Chrissy. Chrissy! Yes, my girls! And you're 20 minutes late. Love it! Oh, and the outfits are cute. Right, Brad? They're so cute. Thank you. At least some of us stay on theme. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, I came prepared. I am a queen. The Croker Queen. Helen Shivers deserve better. Well, I think you look great, Chrissy. Excuse me? We all look great. Oh, introductions. Brad, this is Laurie, and that's Barbie. You girls excited for the Hunter House? Brad, they're excited to see the room I made. <laughs> so, are you girls ready to see the scare house? I'll lead the way. Let's well, go. Here we go. Ben's the tiger. Have fun. Enjoy Halloween, Lori. Have fun. Hello. Teresa, where's Lori? It's important I speak to her now. Um, she's asleep, but I can certainly relay the message for you. Teresa, I'm gonna need you to wake her up and let her know I'm coming to get her right now. Um, you, you can't do that. Teresa, what is going on? Um, um, shoot. She's at a party. Teresa, where is she? Um, 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 M Street somewhere. Um, I, I, I can get the, I can get the address for you. I'm so sorry. Um, just, just, just give me one moment. M please. Street. Doctor, we gotta go. Uh, come on, Barbie. Answer. What was that address? Uh, ah, uh, she said check the snail mail. That's where it'll be. Oh, come on. Dial up. Answer, Barbie. Answer. Hello. It's Barbie. Uh, dial uh, the right number. Uh, but it's definitely uh, a long time. Uh, Just leave your name and number and a brief message. Ciao. Um, I don't mean to pry, but what's so significant about Elm Street? Doctor, Elm Street? Is where I was raised and where I raised Brian. And Lori is riding his path because Brian is going home.